Hi, today is Tuesday. Can't believe it's September 24th. Uh, this is Robin Still. I'm your mayor for the city of Marathon. Welcome to another segment of Minutes with the Mayor. I am with Ben Daughtry. I'm outside Aquarium Encounters, which in and of itself is an amazing facility, but that's not what we're here to talk about because I think most of you may know what this place is and what's behind these gates. We're here to talk about your manatee rescue that a lot of people may not know about. Everybody talks about manatees. Everybody loves manatees. So tell me about what you're doing here to help rescue our manatees. Well, like you said, Robin, you know, we're here to talk kind of about REACH, our nonprofit arm, and that's, that's where we do our rehab and rescue of our manatees. So we've got two little males right now, and basically what our plan is, is, is we receive these animals typically from a place up north like SeaWorld or Zoo Tampa, and then we grow them up until they're big enough to be released again. So the idea is usually taking orphans that were rescued and then having that opportunity where we can release them back into the wild successfully. People say that we're not supposed to feed them. They sure do like the water off the boat. <laughs> um, what are some of the reasons why people should not do that kind of stuff? Well, really what happens is if you're giving them a hose or, or trying to give them food, um, you're attracting them to docks, and that's where boats are at. So what then can happen is, is it, everybody's seen these manatees with scars on their back from boat, boat strikes, and so when you're bringing them to where the humans are, then, then that is more likely to happen. In addition to that, they need to really be, they're wild animals and they need to be left alone to fend for themselves. They, they can get all the water that they need out of their food source, and, and then they end up in the springs a lot of times in the winter uh, where they're, they're in fresh water. So. so basically, let's enjoy looking at them, but let them do what they would naturally do. That's exactly right. This segment had so much information, we decided the video was going to be too long to cut it. So we are going to do a second segment with the rest of the information. So thank you for watching this week, but stay tuned for segment two with Minutes with the Mayor, where we are still at Aquarium Encounters still looking at the manatee rescue operation that goes on here, but we also had the bonus walk through Aquarium Encounters. We got to feed stingrays if you didn't see it segment one. So come back, watch next week as we continue to explore.